Oh, here we go. Next up, another beef mixer with Bowman. Draft, two mega boxes, tech, best, platinum. I haven't done platinum for a while. Here's your teams. This one has to be good after that first one. It has to be. It's so fun, though. It's so fun. I'll oh, we'll do a mega box first. Get that Otani autograph out of the way. Yeah, but it's getting you out of the house and doing stuff. Well, I guess if you're driving. It's kind of tough in the summer. Once it gets hot, it's a little harder to go out there. And... <clears throat> Kinsey Mills. We have a purple Ryan Villad for the Rockies. Pete, sir. Number to 250. Kenzie Gore. Senzel. Rubles, Rookie of the Year favorites. I guess I have to open these packs that have literally nothing in them for some reason. Do I? There's... There's really never anything in these, right? Oh, well. Nothing else to do. <clears throat> have you guys opened mega boxes that have good stuff in them? They have like autos all the time and stuff, or what? never opened any. This is the first I've ever opened. I didn't do last year either. My targets are cleaned out instantly. There's card people around here. Four autos and 30 boxes. Okay. All right. Braxton Garrett, Matt Manning, Sean Newcomb, Ortiz, Mitch Keller, Ivan is to 199. Ibanez, maybe. <clears throat> Ronald Rowdies for the Red Sox. The first auto for Logan. Logan. Ian Anderson for the Braves. For Munster. Fredo Rodriguez to 199. UCCF Reds. And Cozen's Rush. Philly's lucky one. Start of the third period. Here we go. Shed long? Oh. 300 miles. And I would drive 300 miles. Oh, one touch. Did I tell you we watched Fly the Navigator and they loved it? And I loved it? And my wife was mad that they said the S word two times? Anyway, that was a perfect call. One touch in his 90s and 80s and 90s movies. Let's try a different retail pro deck. Remember how hot this stuff was? People were killing each other trying to buy this stuff. I thought it came out really early in the year, like right now. Where's Bowman Platinum? Literally fist fights in the aisle of Target, and or was it Walmart only? You know what? I don't know that movie. Big. I don't think I ever watched it. Tyler Austin to 50. El Nino. <laughs> El Nino. I am the most... <laughs> I am the most powerful of all the traffic storms. The Goonesia. Was it August? Yeah, I know. I just never watch Big. It's weird. I don't. I don't know why. Dernsby. I have no excuse. 
I don't know. I've seen like every 80s movie and I just never watched that one. Was it really early 80s maybe? It was always on. I don't know. I missed it. Arenado to 99. Yeah, I love Nolan Arenado. <laughs> All other tropical storms bow to me. That's it. El Nino is Spanish for the Nino. Man, that was Chris Farley when he was at the end. He looked terrible. Manning stinks. Groundhog Day is one of my favorite movies of all time. Moniac of the Phillies autograph. Princess Bride, of course. I've seen Princess Bride a billion times, along with Groundhog Day. Groundhog Day is really one of the best movies of all time. It's so good. <laughs> Schlitz gay. The gif of... of of Chris Farley pulling his shades up is one of the best things ever. Yeah, Princess Bride rules. Anthony Rizzo. I'm on the Brute Squad. You are the Brute Squad. Cody Bellinger. <clears throat> Man, I freaking love Groundhog Day. God. How many times did I watched that movie when I was a kid? <laughs> the hidden camera one. Kyle Funkhauser. Is that the one with the coffee where they're like... You're actually drinking Colombian whatever coffee. <laughs> yeah, do you know? He's like, what? Oh, man, Chris Farley. God, he was so good. <laughs> he just loses his mind. What? Man, he was like my idol in high school. I thought Chris Farley was the funniest person of all time. He might actually be the funniest person ever. God, he was so good. Uh-oh, Vegas power play. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. He could make anything funny. Why are these upside down? Espinosa. Stop that. I hate upside down cards. Uh, Will Benson. I don't know what my favorite Chris Farley stuff is. It's impossible to say. Really? Chris Farley's brother? <laughs> trying to think what I laughed at the most Chris Farley. Jeez. I just love Tommy Boyd. Oh, weird. Goldschmidt to 250. Do we have what I think we have right here? Oh, I could tell. It's got the double sticker. You know what that is. That's right. Oh, my God. It's glorious. Henry Owens. We got him. That, that right there is why box prices have shot up about $50. People finally realize Henry Owens is in there. The Henry Owens. Mr. Henry Owens. Um, what was I going to say about Chris Farley? The one that. Well, I love the Japanese game show one. That's one of the best things ever. Quacky. Sir Key. Helen, call the, haunt, call the concierge. They said, you want to be on a game or in a game show? I didn't know they meant be on the game show. Devers to 50 gold. Wait, I know it, I know it, I know it. Gojira. Orlando Arcia. <laughs> Dear mother of God. Call the concierge. Hmm. 
Yeah, Wisconsin. Yeah, that was cool. I don't remember that. Lay off me, I'm starving. That was the gap one. Oh yeah, the Oh yeah, the Chris Farley show. Remember when you were in the Beatles? Zach Collins, 99 of 99. That's a bounty. UCCF. Five on three? Oh, God. That there's a bounty. So uh, when they said Paul was dead, that was, that was a hoax. Yeah, the Zagats. Oh, you hear that? So it's rubbing his leg. He would always make those guys laugh. That was so good. There's no way I could do any kind of skit with Chris Farley and not laugh the whole time. So I don't know how anyone did it. The guy's the funniest. <laughs> yeah, the Chippendales. Man. See? Kemp rules. Best player on the team, Matt Kemp. I don't even think it's really debatable. <laughs> Chip and Dales. Uh, Logan Warmoth. Do you guys know there's Blue Jays in draft? Two things I know. There's Dodgers in 18 Bowen and there's Blue Jays in draft. Oh yeah, the Mah what is it? Mahane Mahaney boy or whatever? Let the let the boy sleep in your bed. He's already <laughs> let the boy wash your grandma. For the love of God, let the boys. <laughs> oh God, no way to. There's no way to not laugh at that. Uh, Hurley he boy. What is it called? Just in her a Busby. Something like that. Hurley he. I must go to the hills of Beverly. Yeah, I ran out of draft and it's like five billion dollars a box now and I just haven't haven't bought any more. I was kind of thinking when eighteen Bowman came out the draft would settle down a little bit, like people wouldn't be breaking it as much and maybe it would No, that didn't happen. Price didn't go down at all. We have Seth Corey. T Dog. I know, nothing ever settles down there. But that used to happen. There'd be like a new Bowman that came out and the old Bowman would kind of fall off back in the old days. Back when we had like black and white TVs and, you know, back in like 2015. Casey Clemens, green paper. More Blue Jays. Color me shocked. Remember the Hills Ninja was the worst. Actually, no, the worst one was uh, the one with the guy from Friends. Remember that movie? Taylor Walls. What was that called? That movie was awful. I laughed like two times. The only thing I remember laughing at is when he tries to go into the bald eagle's nest and like get an egg or whatever. It was with uh, Chandler from Friends. That was like the last movie he did. That movie was terrible. No, Black Sheep. Come on, get out of here. Black Sheep rules. Not as good as Tommy Boy though. Austin Beck. I will watch Black Sheep right now. I will turn off this camera and go home and watch Black Sheep. Yeah, that's like uh, Almost Heroes. Yeah, that's an awful movie. Even Farley couldn't save that. We got a green autograph. Fat guy in a little coat. Jeter Downs, green. That's nice. You see, see it. <laughs> That guy in a little coat. Man, I've been saying those lines for so long. Not so much here or here, but right here. Uh, Carl Stadjuhar for the Mets. Gold. Yeah, he did, huh? 
Almost heroes. Man, what an awful movie. Pretty tough to make a movie with Chris Farley and have it not be funny at all. Brendan Murphy. Yeah, well, it's uh, kind of easy when you uh, never move your back row. Ever! Great, I got a bowl of chocolate pudding in my underpants. Well, we didn't have any chocolate pudding in there. Uh, Griffin Canning, light blue. All right, nice green Jeter Downs. Let's get the other mega box out of the way, get this autograph real quick. Oh, we still have a beef box. Vegas didn't score five on three, wow. Surprising. Show me the autograph. Trevor Rogers, Scott Kingery. Okay. Otani, rookie of the year favorites. That's not in regular Bowman. Tim, I think sweet. What's that going for? 2 3 hundo? Unnumbered? Bukowskis. Tim's more excited about JB Bukowskis, though. Uh oh, Vlad Guerrero Jr. Purple. Sixty bucks, dang. See, well, this was a good one. Randonics. Vlad to two fifty. That one nine hundred dollars. That's my guess. Mitchell White Mercado. Eight hundred and fifty dollars. Purple Vlad. Now, let's check out some chrome and paper. Just slip a superfractor in here. It's superfractors only. Paper, chrome, and supers. You remember when you pulled a, a Tawny? That was awesome. Bert and Lonnie. Yeah, Wedding Singer, we could almost watch. They're not old enough, though. They need, they need a little bit. I don't know. What's Big rated? Does Big have some bad words? I don't really care. My wife cares, but I'm like... Our daughter's eight. She's heard all the words already a thousand times. What is it going to do if she hears it in a movie? <laughs> yeah, is that true? Like, yeah, I think that's true. Awesome. All right. Airplane, yeah. All right, 17 best. Dane Dunning. Ah, we're so due on best. So due. Oh, played. Hello. Do you guys all know where the beef thing came from? Cindergard, you know. We have so many new people all the time. I, I think everyone knows where everything is from, but... How many people don't know why it's called a beef box? Show of hands. Chance Adams, Refractor. You don't? Really? Wow. Yeah, I guess not. Well, what it came from originally is when we would do triple threads baseball all the time, and some triple threads packs have one or two cards sometimes that are real thick stock when you know you're going to get like a, you know, a white whale or a patch auto type hit, and we started calling those beef, beefs, because they're beefy. 
So I would open up the triple threads pack and I'd turn it to the side and be like, oh, no beefs in this one. And then that turned into a front beef and back beef. If the, if the thicker card was in the front, that was front beef and the back was back beef. So when, like when Triple Threads comes out and we're doing, you know, 15 cases the first week, it'll be all about, oh, this one has a beefy hit or not, that type of thing, that's all. So I was like, what if I made a box that was just all the beef? And we could put, like, things on it. That's what it came from. Anthony Rizzo to 150. It's not really that good of a story, that's just where it came from. Jeter Downs all over this break. I know. I was, yeah, I, I was going to do that. Nah, my graphics guy is too classy for that. Bellinger. Hard enough to get him the word, the words beef. Reggie Miller, no. What is this? Kopech to 25 orange. What the heck? When's the last time we had a good big hit out of Bum's best? Jeez. Going through cases, there's got to be something in here. No, Mitchell White, it's not you. What the heck? Rip off Bum's best. There must be something. All right. Three boxes of 17 and two boxes of 16. There has to be something. Unless I don't remember something early on. All right, B4 of 20. I can't open these anymore. Can't open my own beefs. They're packed in real... Oh, there we go. There's gotta be a mantle. We haven't had a mantle in two or three beef boxes. This will be mantle, the first card right here. No, it's Ichiro. This card's weird. I don't know. It's kind of awesome though. It's number to ten. Scoffeld, please accept this humble Ichiro beef. For some reason it's a see-through something number to ten. I don't even know what this is. Don't know where it came from, don't know what it is. I just know that it has Ichiro on it and it's number to ten, so it must be kind of good. All right. <clears throat> Next. PSA. The Very Much Alive. This is a nice Al K line for the Tigers. T Dog. 1955 PSA 4. Beef Crystal. Albert William K line. Some classic vintage beef. Just as alive today as he was then. I don't think it's clearly authentic because it's not autographed. Crystal Pepsi. All right. What is this? A Tony Gwynn cut. Some underdog beef. Padres, Buckeyes. 2018... Leaf Heroes of the Game cut signature. Died in 2000, 2014? Man, been dead for four years. That's nice. 3,000 hit bear. Gwyn cut. And this might be a monster. Setting up to be a monster. Oh yeah, this card, this is the, believe it or not, I don't know if you guys are going to believe this, this is one of the best cards in the whole run. Some people will instantly see it and go, oh yeah, I know. And others you would be like, it's an 8 though, that sucks. Look at this thing. Remember this? 1992 Upper Deck, Williams Heroes Autograph. These things are crazy. I could not believe how much these go for, even an 8. I think they were kind of tough to pull. It's one of the best hits in the run right there. Logan, your Red Sox. 
<laughs> yeah, but it's an eight. That just don't look at that. That doesn't even matter. Yeah, it was like one out of nine billion boxes. Yeah. Ted Williams. You got an authentic authenticated Ted Williams. It's not even authenticated. Do they score? Oh no. All right, heat recap. Mitchell White, Jeter Downs, Chance Adams Refractor, Dane Dunning, the Vlad Purple from Mega Box, Otani, Rookie of the Year favorites, Jeter Downs Green, Seth Corey, Logan Warmoth Refractor, Zach Collins to 99, Arcia, Henry Owens, uh, Will Benson, Moniac, Austin, Rowdies, Anderson, Alfredo Rodriguez, Dylan Cousins, and that weird Ichiro. Isn't that weird? Kopech, Rizzo, Syndergaard, Carl Gold, Austin Beck, Devers Gold. Oh, yeah, Ryan Villad as well. Henry Owens and Ted Williams. Wow. It's like when Ken had all those Yankees in the high end mixer. 